Eating rare chicken might sound crazy, but in some places, it's the furthest thing from it. Rare chicken could remind you of rare steak, but is it a safe to eat? Stay tuned for the full story. Believe it or not, there are actually some raw chicken dishes out there that aren't the result of fraternity pranks or bad cooking. Chicken sashimi is raw or lightly seared in sliced chicken breast. It's a common offering in Tokyo's yakitori restaurants, which specialize in seasoned chicken parts grilled over an open flame and served on skewers. The raw chicken, which is typically served with grated ginger, shiso leaves, and vinegar, is meant to showcase the different flavors and textures possible with chicken. Matador Network emphasizes that reputable yakitori restaurants are careful in how they source and prepare the chicken, used for chicken sashimi. Eating it elsewhere can carry an unacceptable risk. Thus, one should never try chicken sashimi at a restaurant that does not specialize in it, or try to make it at home with questionable supermarket chicken. Even in Japan, food safety experts are rethinking the dish. Japan's Ministry of Health, Labor, and Welfare has advised restaurants to seriously rethink their use of raw or barely cooked chicken. While it's not completely free of risk, a rare steak is a far safer option than raw chicken. This is why you can find rare steaks nearly everywhere, but rare chicken dishes are, well, rare. A big reason for this difference stems from how bacterial pathogens are distributed in the bodies of chickens and cows. While chickens host these pathogens throughout their bodies, the situation is different for cattle. According to Francisco Diaz-Gonzalez, director of the University of Georgia Center for Food Safety, illness-causing organisms such as E. coli live in an animal's intestinal tract. The only way a steak can pick up these pathogens is through cross-contamination during slaughtering and butchering. Even then, the pathogens will be restricted to the surface of the steak. And even if you're cooking your steak rare, you'll almost always fully sear and cook the surface, killing off any surface contaminants. The key phrase there is almost always. How would you like those steaks cooked? Well, just knock its horns off, wipe its nasty old ass, and chunk it right down on the plate. Same for me, please. While rare steak is a much safer choice than rare chicken, food safety experts still don't consider it to be completely safe. In fact, the USDA argues that any rare meat is fundamentally unsafe, as does the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. Most disease-causing organisms on steaks are restricted to the surface and are killed off by cooking, so searing the outside of a steak while leaving the inside rare is theoretically safe. However, according to SFGate, the mechanical tenderizing technique that is used on some steaks can push these organisms deeper into the interior of the steak. This means it's still possible to get sick from eating rare steak. So if eating rare steak is an unacceptable risk for you, you can still enjoy some of its pleasures. According to Certified Angus Beef, an internal temperature of 145 degrees will yield a medium steak with a warm pinkish center. The resulting meat will still have some of the look and juiciness of a rare steak with far less risk. What a relief for all the meat lovers out there! Life can be tough if you're both a serious carnivore and someone with a suppressed immune system. On one hand, a good rare steak is considered to be one of life's greatest pleasures. On the other hand, the same steak, if contaminated with E. coli or other pathogens, can potentially kill you. At the very least, it might make you extremely miserable for days. You could fully mitigate your risk by giving up rare steak altogether. But then would life even be worth living? That's an exaggeration, of course, but still a sad proposition for many foodies. And I want it rare. Luckily, there are ways to both protect yourself and reduce your chance of foodborne illness, even if you refuse to live life without rare steak. The most critical step you can take, according to the Chicago Steak Company, is to be sure that you get your steak from a reputable source. A high-end steakhouse or experienced local butcher will be able to tell you where your meat came from and how it has been handled, ensuring you get a high-quality steak. If you want to take even more control over how your meat is handled, you can buy a whole slab of meat and cut it yourself, though this will naturally take more time and skill. Even though you may enjoy a delicious rare steak in the company of your friends and family, those same people might draw the line if you order a rare burger. They'll warn you about the dangers of undercooked ground meat and the risks of contracting E. coli and other germs. So what's the story behind that? As it turns out, they're not wrong to be concerned. While the USDA notes that muscle is a clean tissue in cattle, it can become contaminated during the butchering process. And while these bad bugs stay on the surfaces of meat and are easily killed by cooking, ground meat is a different matter. Grinding will mix any surface pathogens in with the rest of the meat, meaning the only way to kill them off is to cook the meat all the way through. If you still find that you can't live without your rare burger, the safest option is to source your meat from a reputable vendor that uses responsible butchering practices. 
Home cooks and food safety experts have long been wary of undercooked chicken, and for a good reason. The bacteria found in chicken won't just give you a mild stomach bug. Instead, some of these microorganisms can put you out of commission for days or even weeks. According to the CDC, another nasty organism that can be carried in undercooked chicken is Campylobacter, which can cause vomiting, stomach cramps, and fever. Severe cases of infection can result in complications like temporary paralysis or irritable bowel syndrome. Furthermore, chicken, like beef, can carry E. coli. Surprisingly, the USDA notes that most strains of E. coli are not only harmless, but beneficial for animal and human digestion. However, some strains can cause stomach cramps, vomiting, and in severe cases, can even result in kidney failure. For most people, a case of food poisoning from eating rare chicken will be seriously unpleasant, but survivable. Balls, clenching, not much time. But not all people respond to infections in the same way. What can end up being an inconvenient bug for one person may be life-threatening to another. For instance, while a Campylobacter infection typically causes a range of digestive issues that go away after a week or so, those in certain vulnerable populations can face a greater risk. Those groups include anyone over 65 or people who are undergoing chemotherapy, are immune depressed for other reasons, or are pregnant. Anyone whose immune system isn't up to fighting these germs on its own may need antibiotic treatment to shake them off. Similarly, salmonella bacteria, which can be picked up by eating undercooked chicken, also have more serious impacts on vulnerable populations. Per the CDC, people who are already sick, over 65, under 12 months of age, or are immune compromised are more likely to experience serious side effects. While rare and raw beef is known to be safer to consume than raw chicken, it's not free of risk. For this reason, the USDA officially recommends that beef should be cooked thoroughly before serving to minimize that risk. Specifically, cooks should use a meat thermometer to confirm the internal temperature of a piece of meat to ensure they've got that bacteria-killing threshold. Ideally, you should cook your steak to an internal temperature of 145 degrees Fahrenheit, then give it a three-minute rest period to allow the temperature to rise to about 160 degrees. But as steak connoisseurs know, this advice is widely disregarded for example, quite a few culinary authorities recommend an internal temperature of 130 degrees to achieve perfect medium-rare sous vide steak. For chicken, on the other hand, most authorities agree that hitting a high internal temperature is non-negotiable. The USDA recommends that you cook the chicken to an internal temperature of 165 degrees. Furthermore, a recipe for chicken breast from Anova, a sous vide cooker manufacturer, recommends an initial internal temperature of 150 degrees. It's worth noting, however, that in this specific recipe, the cooked chicken is then pan to brown its skin. It's likely that its final internal temperature will be closer to USDA recommendations, though it's smart to use a meat thermometer to confirm this before digging in. Oh my god, I've created a raw chicken monster. Mwah! It's delicious! My compliments to whoever didn't cook it! Undercooked chicken isn't just a menace when it's on your plate. There's a good reason that some cautious home cooks have separate cutting boards for poultry, meat, and produce. This is because the pathogens found in raw or undercooked chicken also occur in the chicken's juices, which can easily contaminate other foodstuffs in your kitchen. For instance, if you've been cutting up a raw chicken while preparing a salad, disease-bearing bacteria from the chicken can potentially spread to the salad through shared surfaces. This means that even your vegetarian dinner guests could end up with chicken-based food poisoning unless you use separate surfaces and regularly clean them. Fortunately, there are several easy steps you can take to prevent such cross-contamination. Starting from the moment you purchase your chicken. At the grocery store, put packages of raw chicken in plastic bags to keep their juices from leaking onto other foods. Wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds after handling raw chicken and use a separate cutting board for raw chicken. If you like to rinse your chicken before cooking it, be careful to minimize splashing and to sanitize the sink with hot soapy water afterward. Finally, never put other foods on unwashed plates that have held raw chicken. Safety isn't the only reason chicken is almost always served cooked. The simple truth is that cooked chicken simply tastes better. According to the University of Georgia Extension, the heat from cooking helps to break down chicken's natural proteins, resulting in the healthy texture and white color we associate with cooked chicken. It also enhances the distinct flavor we commonly affiliate with chicken. By contrast, chicken sashimi has only a mild chicken flavor, according to Matador Network. Cooking can also improve the look and taste of chicken in other ways. According to an article in the Asian Australian Journal of Animal Sciences, Chicken, like other meats, undergoes the Maillard reaction when roasted, fried, or grilled. This reaction creates a browned look and intensified flavor. To optimize the Maillard reaction and the unique and delicious flavors it produces, modernist cuisine recommends thoroughly drying your chicken before exposing it to high heat. 
By now, it should be clear that, in almost every circumstance, eating rare chicken is a bad idea. Even if the slime factor of raw poultry meat isn't a turnoff for you, the very real risk of a serious foodborne illness should be. Still, while a well-cooked chicken breast is safe and wholesome, the line between fully cooked and overcooked is dangerously thin. It's way too easy to go overboard and end up with dry, tough, or chalky chicken. Yuck. Luckily, there are ways to ensure that even fully cooked chicken stays juicy and appetizing. One easy method is to soak chicken pieces for at least 30 minutes in a quick brine, made with one tablespoon of salt for each cup of water. To prevent bacterial growth, For Women First recommends keeping the chicken refrigerated during the brining process. An even faster option is to marinate the chicken for just 20 minutes in a simple vinaigrette, made with oil, vinegar, salt, and pepper. If you crave chicken that's got a crunch on the outside and is juicy on the inside, breading your chicken pieces will keep the juices locked inside while giving you a nice texture.